At the end of this media, you will be able to know about functions of RPS. The block diagram of RPS is shown in figure. This block diagram consists of transformer, rectifier circuit, filter circuit, and regulator circuit. The input AC supply is given to the primary of the transformer and it is stepped down to the rated voltage at the secondary terminals of the transformer. This stepped down voltage is passed through the rectifier circuit. The rectifier circuit has one or more diodes to convert AC voltage into DC voltage. This DC voltage has large amount of ripple content in it and is known as pulsating DC voltage. This voltage is given to the filter circuit. The filter is used to remove ripple in the pulsating DC voltage and tries to make it smoother. The output of the filter is known as unregulated DC voltage. This unregulated voltage is passed through a regulator circuit. This regulated circuit consists of a current limiting resistor and a Zener diode. A constant DC voltage is obtained across the Zener diode. Now, let us see how to check the function of RPS. Connect the circuit as shown in figure. Give the unregulated AC power supply to the auto transformer. Using auto transformer taps set a desired voltage of 150 volts. This voltage is given to the RPS. Then set a desired RPS output voltage by using the voltage adjust knob in the RPS without any load and note it as no load voltage. Close the switch S. Adjust the resistance box in steps to get different values of output current. Tabulate the values of output voltage, resistance value, and current. From the table, you can confirm that the output voltage remains nearly constant. Check that the current multiplied by the resistance is equal to voltage. Now open the switch S. Then, using auto transformer taps, set a desired voltage of 200 volts. Repeat the same procedure as in the previous case. Again, you can confirm that the output of the RPS remains constant under various load condition. Thus, you have learnt the functions of RPS.